strange. Why are Hipe Pavilion's techniques so similar to those on the Phoenix Crown? With such superb aesthetics, how has it been trampled by Suyu Pavilion for so many years? Unless it's copied from the actual object, how can they create such a detailed diagram? Young Master Pei. Miss Shuang Shuang needs to look at some documents. If there's any problem, you can ask me directly. Sorry, that was rude of me. Young Master, it's not Miss Shuang Shuang's fault. She wanted to study, so I brought her here. Please don't blame her. Uh. You're frowning again, getting angry? Don't frown, or you won't look handsome. Miss Shuang Shuang this, Miss Shuang Shuang that. Have I spoiled you too much? Young Master, I'm sorry. I asked Lou to bring my sister over. Taking all the blame. And lying. Do you know what place this is? How can you bring outsiders in? Outsiders? What's wrong with him today? Haven't made up with Mr. Pei yet? Make up? Not unless he comes to me. This was all my fault. Every family has its secrets. Especially since he's your boss. We, as servants, must learn to be humble. Sister? I have something to tell you. Actually, I'm with Mr. Pei now. We just haven't told anyone yet. When did this happen? A lot happened. And we just ended up together. Will you oppose it? As long as you're happy, of course I won't oppose it. But... Do you really know young Master Pei? I'm afraid you'll get hurt. Sister, don't worry. Even though he seems carefree, but actually, he's very responsible. Since you're a couple now, there's no need to sulk. But be careful. Don't get too involved. Don't worry, trust my judgment. All right, sit down. Young master, it's my fault for taking the key. I made the decision without your permission and caused you and Dandan to argue. You two should stop being mad at each other. I did go a bit overboard. I'll apologize to her later. Young master, someone sent you a letter. It says you're being accused of copying in the Jade competition. If you want to clear your name, meet at Huaman House. Who sent it? I don't know. They left right after delivering it. Young master? Queen Liu. Why are you here? Young master, I... Young master? Young master, please don't leave. Young master? I know you don't want to see me again. I was misled. I did something foolish. I deserve to be kicked out of the pay residence. But young master, I know I was wrong. Finally, I have been punished as well. 
I did those despicable things because I was jealous of Dan Dan. Jealous that she could always be by your side. Young master, I really know I was wrong. Please forgive me. Please forgive me, young master. Enough. It's good that you know your mistake. I promise that I can correct the mistake. I am no longer part of the Pei family. So I have no other desires. Tomorrow I will leave for my hometown. To be with my parents. Get married and have children. And spend the rest of my life. I came here today. Just to see you one last time. And to serve you once more. Young master. Let me pour you a drink. And make you a cup of tea. Young master, this may be the last time we meet in this life. All right, I have things to do, so I'll head back now. Young Master, breakfast is ready. Young Master, breakfast is ready. You're getting spirited, aren't you? Young Master, it's time to eat. Young Master? Where is the Young Master? I was about to ask you. Liu. Where is the young master? The young master received a letter yesterday, then hurried out. He hasn't come back all night. Where did he go? How should I know? Where did he go? Huaman House. Wait for me, Dandan. Walk slower. Yeah. You're up early today. Is something wrong? Where is Pei Pei? Uh, Where is Pei Pei? Uh, In the upstairs private room. Uh, I only collected room rent. What happened? What's wrong with you again? Can't you stop? <laughs> Bastard. You ruined my reputation. You bastard! <laughs> young master, young master, what happened to you? Wake up, young master. Young master, wake up. Move aside. Look at me, young master. Young master, wake up. Get up. Take him away. Move aside. Get up. Move aside. What's going on, officer? Get up. Take it slow, officer. Still not eating? Dandan, eat something first. I'm not hungry. Dandan, try to eat a little. I believe the young master would never have an affair with Quilu. Quilu is cunning. You can't trust her words. I'm just angry at how foolish the young master is. How could he fall for Quilu's trick? Even if he had to go out, couldn't he have told someone? 
And Quilio, she's admired the young master for a long time. I don't think she would harm him. Even the prettiest dragonfly can't fly without wings. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be investigated in three days. This time, there's no way for Pei escape. That's right. And it's such a coincidence that a girl appeared at this critical moment and set him up? Brilliant. Young master. Congratulations on your release. You... you're Mr. Su? I've heard about your situation. It's not your fault. Blame that heartless Pei Pei and the arrogant Shan Dandan. They forced you to commit such a crime. Do you hate them? Yes. If you don't mind, come to Suyu Pavilion. As long as you're willing to cooperate, I can guarantee you wealth and prosperity. Besides, why do you think you got out of prison so quickly? Was it because of you? We have both been wronged. Don't you want to make the Pei family suffer a bit? Or do you want to end up on the streets? What do you want me to do? Marvelous. Such a clever move. Pei was too careless in his daily life, leading so many people to resent him. Huey, you finally understand. This is the right attitude. You shouldn't punish yourself for someone else's mistakes. He sowed the seeds, so he should reap what he deserves. You're right. If there's no more Kipe Pavilion in this world, where would she go? If I ask you for some money now, You'd have to give it to me. We should bribe the prison guards. And make Mr. Pei suffering a bit. Liu, what are you going to do? Young master must have been wrong. I can't just sit by. I need to save him. Prison break is a serious crime. Even if young Monster Pei is innocent, this would put him in even more danger. Then what should I do? What should I do? We need to think of a solution together. We must not panic. All right. I understand. I'll need your help. Please take care of Miss Danden. This is hitting her the hardest. Of course. Manager Hall, do whatever it takes to pull strings and make connections. Madam, the best lawyer is on his way. If you want to see him, it has to be after midnight. Thank you, officer. Madam. Dun Dun, Pei. I believe in him. I don't believe he would do such a despicable thing. If he coveted Quilu, why wait until now? Madam, don't worry. The most important thing now is to get him out. Dun Dun, I knew I wasn't wrong about you. If you need money, go directly to Manager Howe. Although use all of Kipei Pavilion's resources, we will save pay. And you, no matter what happens, be cautious and stay safe. Madam, don't worry. I won't let you down. Don't worry.
I'm here to see Pei Pei from Chipei Pavilion. Please. This way. He's inside. No more than 15 minutes. All right. Then... Done, done. What happened? Why are you beaten like this? Does it hurt? No, it doesn't hurt. How can they beat you? They wanted me to confess and sign the papers. Of course I couldn't confess. So... <coughs> but they still can't beat you. <coughs> Don't cry. I know. I know you fell into Quilio's trap. I'll find a way to prove your innocence. I'm sorry. I'm so foolish for making you worry. How did it turn out like this? <laughs> Don't cry. Hang in there. I will definitely get you out. I believe in you. <laughs> what? They dared to torture young master? The urgent task is to find evidence to prove his innocence. The sooner the better. Hmm. But besides us, how can we prove that the young master was wronged? Done, done. How is it going? I checked. They said there's nothing wrong with the wine. Of course. If she really tampered with it, it would have been cleaned up by now. Besides Quilu, who else entered the room? Madame Yang said only the two of them. Quilu has long admired the young master. If he had really done something to her, she would be happy. Why would she act like that? Why did she call the young master to Huaman House? Who instructed her? And who reported it to the authorities? There are too many doubts. Dandan, Dan, you must save him. Let me see. Now that Pei Shufeng is gone, if Pei Pei is also wrongfully imprisoned, I won't be able to investigate the theft of the Phoenix Crown. Sister, what's wrong? <sighs> Nothing. Let's focus on finding a way to save him. Sir, tomorrow is the trial for Pei Pei's case. After Su Jue paid Kui Liu's fine, he kept her in Yunkui City. This case is indeed suspicious. <sighs> Pei Pei has always been of good character. It seems he must have been bewitched to act this way. You are right, sir. We can't draw conclusions. Based on Quilu's words alone. Pei Pei, you fool. How can you let Quilu manipulate you? Have you arranged everything? The midwife is ready. The Pei family knows how to respond. The truth should come out at the trial tomorrow. The Su family is becoming more arrogant. We should take this chance to teach Su Jue a lesson. First, Pei contributed greatly to the poison case. Second, we need to crack down on those who distort facts and make false accusations. Go handle it quickly. Yes, city lord. If it really was Suyu Pavilion, bribing Quilu to frame the young master, this will be tricky. The Su family is powerful. 
They must have covered all their tracks. Miss Shuang Shuang, you worked at Suyu Pavilion before. Do they really hate the young master this much? It's... It's possible. Unable to surpass others, these despicable people resort to underhanded tricks. I'll go confront them now. Calm down. This is not the time for impulsiveness. The most important thing now is to get him out. Deputy Manager, you wanted to see me? Hong Yu, I have some questions for you. You must answer truthfully. Did Quilyu have any close relationships? No. Did she ever have inappropriate interactions with the young master? Although Quilyu can be a bit arrogant, she has admired the young master for a long time. Deep down, she's a traditional person. She wouldn't do such things. Understood. Hong Yu, take me to Quilyu's room to have a look. All right. Liu, huh? go find the city lord. Tell him there are developments in the case. We must ask him to reinvestigate. Understood. Also, make sure to keep a close watch on Quilyu. She must not be harmed before the city lord summons her. Understood. With the key witness Quilu found, we will re-examine Pepe's case. Bring Pepe up. How did Pepe get hurt like this? He was uncooperative and refused to confess. So they had to use some force. City Lord, Pepe is innocent. How so? That day, I was like being roofied. I was in a daze the whole time. Today, I can finally speak up. I received an anonymous letter saying they could help clear my name about the Jade competition. Of course. You might not believe I was wronged. But when I got to Huaman House, I found Quilu waiting there. She said she wanted to apologize. After drinking the wine she offered, I don't remember anything. City Lord, here is the evidence. Please have a look. Young master, for God's sakes! How can you say such shameless things? You pretended to be drunk. And did vile things to me. How can you accuse me now? You're shameless. You keep saying the young master did vile things to you. What exactly did he do? Tell us. I... I... What? Can't you say it? Let me help you. City Lord, I request bringing the midwife to assist. Granted. Greetings, City Lord. This is the renowned midwife of Yunkwai City. She can determine whether a woman is still a virgin. She has never failed. Since Quilio claims to have been greatly wronged, let's have her check to see if she get hurt. Yes. Come on. Let go of me. I mean, young master kissed me and touched me. This is absurd. 
Do only heinous acts count as wrong? Regardless, he still behaved inappropriately toward me. Quiliu, I know about you and Suju's plan. He is already in trouble. Do you think you will be safe under the protection of Su family? Do you think they will let you go? City Lord, this matter might also involve... It was me! I did it! I couldn't stand seeing Dandan happy, so I took this desperate measure... This is outrageous. Regarding the Spice case, I showed leniency because you were coerced, and the Pei family pleaded for you. I didn't punish you harshly. Yet you haven't repented, and have become worse. Guards, take her away. City Lord, spare me. City Lord... Move! I was wrong. I really was wrong. Let go of me! City Lord, can I take Young Master home now? Yes. Be careful. Move slowly. Let's go. Here. Careful with the wound. It doesn't hurt. Thank you. This time, you've thought everything through for me. I know. You definitely didn't want to worry, madam. So I had to make sure you came home safe and sound. Does the wound still hurt? Not at all. That day, in the library, I was impulsive and said some harsh things. I'm sorry. It's nothing. I was a bit reckless too. We're even... Dan Dan, were you really angry about Quiliu? At first, I was furious. How could you be so foolish? But the anger passed quickly. I thought, no matter what, I had to get you out. I can't lose you. Dun Dun. When I was in prison, I was terrified. Not of the punishment, or of dying. I was scared that I would never see you again. All right. Let's not think about those worries. Now you see me, and you can see me every day from now on. You promised me, every day, not a day less. Every day. I love you. I love you too. Madame, Madame, Leo, Young Master is back. He's back. D. Madame. Pay. Mother. Pay. You're back. You've suffered. Not at all. Dun Dun, you did it. Come, let's go inside and rest. Madame Pay, greetings. What are you doing here? I heard Mr. Pei was seriously injured, so I came to check on you. You still looks quite energetic. 
All thanks to you, of course. What do you mean by that? I don't understand. I saw Quilio get into your carriage. You've been meddling all along, haven't you? Oh, that girl. I saw her being thrown out and felt sorry for her, so I took her in. As for other matters, aren't you overthinking it? Using such despicable means? There's no need for you to make a scene here. How is Miss Shuang Shuang doing? None of your business. Who do you think you are to speak like this? You... Young Master Su, you should mind your own affairs. You're not welcome here. Liu, see him out. Yes. Young Master Su, this way please. No need to be hurry. The Wheel of Fortune turns. We'll see. That will take a long time. Young Master Pei, be careful not to lose too miserably. I was wondering why magpies were at the door today. Turns out we have a distinguished guest. Come, young Master Su. Come in. <laughs> Take a seat, Mr. Qin. Is this convenient? <laughs> Thank you, young Master Su. Mr. Qin, your smile today is a bit unsettling. How can it be? Our jade shop relies on you. Now that the Pei family is in trouble, everyone in the four cities and eight regions treats you like a king, young Master Su. Mr. Kin, let me ask you, how often does your store get new stock? It takes half a year to restock Bequays of Long Way. What if I bought all the ore in your store? Wouldn't other stores be unable to buy any? If you bought all of them? Thanks to you, I could take a vacation. Then I will fulfill your wish. Thank you, young Master Su. Take a seat. I'll make the arrangements. <laughs> no, Yue. Do you really intend to buy all the raw stones nearby? If you do, our treasury will be nearly empty. You need to think this through. I have already thought it through. You are right. If there is no more Kipe Pavilion in this world, where would she go? A fight to the death. Is inevitable. Yes. Let's do it. Buy it all. What do you mean? Explain yourself. Madam Young Master, something terrible has happened. What is it? Suyu Pavilion started selling their goods at half price. There are virtually no customers for us. What if we lower our prices by 30%? I tried lowering the prices for two days. We sold some goods. But Suyu Pavilion has accumulated wealth for many years. With deep pockets, they can afford these losses. We can't sustain this price war. And what's worse... Manager Hao, speak your mind. Suyu Pavilion has bought out all the stores around Yunchui City, with the right to sell raw stones. After Kipei Pavilion's stock is sold out, we won't be able to restock. Why did they buy so many raw stones? Aren't they afraid of overstocking? They're not afraid. Such a large-scale move is meant to force us into a fight to the death. We don't know if they will take a toll, but we are really getting in trouble. So, it seems that making Pei suffer was a strategy to distract us. The Su family's scheming runs deep. What's the financial situation now? I've sold half of the inventory at low prices, but now, we can't even pay our workers, except for a few loyal ones. Many are asking to resign. If we keep selling at a loss, and can't restock, Kipe Pavilion will have nothing left. What brings you here? Don't you know our store is closed? I know. Why did you sell all your stones? To one jade store? Ridiculous. Suyu Pavilion is wealthy. If they come for business, why not make a deal with them? If you had the money and came first, I would have sold to you too. 
Do you have any stock left? If you could help us in this urgent situation, we'd surely... Unfortunately, no. Do you have any contacts for other suppliers? If it profits, we can share the earnings. The mines are far away. It takes half a year to get a shipment. I really can't help. That's it. Now go away. Don't disturb my vacation. Right? Why aren't you taking your medicine? I don't want to. You have to take medicine to reverse her health. Be good, just take a sip. <laughs> 